Hello everyone and welcome to Good Health TV News. I'm your host, Joe Creelbad. Today's top stories. Larissa Fasthorse recently became the first Native American woman playwright produced on Broadway with her original work, The Thanksgiving Play. The play tells the story of four white presenting people attempting to devise a culturally sensitive first Thanksgiving play for Native American Heritage Month. Fast Horse says she wanted to challenge herself to write a play about contemporary indigenous issues through white presenting characters. Although her plays tell historical truths, her primary aim is to create art. Fast Horse encourages indigenous artists to stay true to themselves as finding their voice is important. Now I've been looking all over for my voice, but it's nowhere to be seen. If you hear from it, let me know. NABS, the Native American Boarding School Healing Coalition, plans to launch a website this summer that will allow Native Americans to search for information on relatives who attended Indian boarding schools. The National Indian Boarding School Digital Archive, NIBSDA, will launch with nearly 50,000 records from a federal archive and will integrate records from other databases. The goal is to become the authoritative center for Indian boarding school records. The project is funded through various grants and aims to reveal the truth about Indian boarding schools and their legacies. You can learn more about the project at boardingschoolhealing.org. L.A. Williams, a Navajo sportscaster, has been providing live commentary of Phoenix Suns NBA games in Diné Bazad, the language of the Navajo people on KTNN 101.5 FM. She's also been teaching the next generation of native speakers to carry on the craft of sportscasting in their language through her work as the director of KXWR, a sportscasting program at Diné College. Williams' work highlights the importance of preserving and promoting native languages and showcases the complexities and nuances of broadcasting live events in these languages. And if anyone has any information on how I could ever be as cool as this woman, please email me at sorryjoe at you'renotcool.com. And that's going to do it for today's episode. On behalf of everyone here at Good Health TV News, this is Joe Creelbad. Remember, we feel bad if you don't feel good. We'll see you next time.